Hi all folks, this is Max from G2 Hacks. Today we're going to put Cyanogen uh, 7 into uh, our phone. So the first thing you'll want to do is just make sure you have the latest clockwork. You can go uh, go search for ROM manager and it, if it says update, just make sure you update it to the latest version. And then let's open up the clockwork manager and uh, let's flash the latest version into recovery. So hit that button and then confirm HTC G2 which is yours. You can see in the status bar it's gonna flash it and then say allow when the super user asks you. And you've successfully uh, flashed your uh, the latest version. And now go download the latest version. I'll have links on my blog post of the Cyanogen uh, ROM and then go put it in your SD card. Well, let's do it together. So I've downloaded cmvision underscore full dash 58 zip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my phone, connect it to my computer, and uh, turn on USB storage, all right? And then I'm simply gonna copy over that file into, uh, into my root directory. Let me get rid of these stuff I don't need. And I'm just going to copy it over to the root directory of my SD card. So it's. Dip, 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 dip. And my, I've been using Ginger Villain for a couple months, but my camera, I don't know why, it's getting some kind of yellow signal. It's not working correctly. So that's why I'm upgrading. But uh, Cyanogen 7 is supposed to be probably the best ROM for this G2 phone. So let's see. Can do it here. So once that's copied over, you're fine. So let's go to the next step. So you can turn off USB storage, all right? Next, we're gonna go back to uh, ROM Manager um, and install ROM from SD card, and then go find uh, the CM Vision Full Dash Fifty Eight. And then uh, you can also back up existing ROM or, you know, I'm not going to. Um, your your photos and stuff should be fine. Just, you know, I have all my apps backed up on Google Gmail anyways. So just select the that bottom two and if you need to back up, select the first one too. And click OK. And reboot and install. And uh, this should pretty much install it automatically. Because the uh, Clockwork mod, mod recovery has gotten so good, thanks to the developers. There. It says it's formatting cache. Here, I'll get in close so you can see the nitty gritty. There we go. Formatting data. And, uh, getting tired of <laughs> holding my phone. And I'll have more ROM reviews and also check out g2hacks.com. That's my site for this phone. And, uh, also don't forget to like us on Facebook. We need your help. We're not asking for donations for these videos, but just want you to make us famous on Facebook. <laughs> anyway. It's installing the update. Um, so this is going to take a while and my arm's hurting. So I'll just come back when this is done and show you. Okay? See y'all. Oops, so I have I got back here. Sorry, let me adjust the camera. It already installed the ROM. So that's how you install the Cyanogen mod ROM. Um, that was pretty quick, huh? I, came, I went to have a smoke and you know it installed and rebooted by itself. Anyway, next video I'll show you uh, some of the features of this new Cyanogen. I'm excited. So, see y'all later. And uh, don't forget to check out my G2 hacks and hit that like button for our Facebook page. And subscribe to our email list. Alright, see y'all later. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot. Um, it doesn't even have Market or Gmail. So you have to go download the Google Apps, which I'll have links in this uh, YouTube post. Go download it. Um, you can install it using ROM Manager again. So let me show you how to do that. 
So first, put your uh, phone into uh, connect it to your computer, and uh, oops, no, not that one. Um, enable the disk drive function. All right, got that part. And then next, we're gonna go, we're gonna go unzip the uh, the G apps file here. Unzip it. Run program. Just gonna unzip. Oh no, no, don't unzip it. Just copy it over to your uh, SD card. All right. And then let's go back to the phone. And uh, let me make this a little bit clear. Turn it off. All right. And then let's go back to a ROM manager and install it. Do do do. Oh no no I don't want to write it. Install. Oop, does it have a zip card? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Just reboot it into recovery, and then we'll install it because there's no option for installing zip files and allow. And uh, we'll go and install it manually because that's the only way you can install it. But all this stuff. The G2 phone is, I really love it because uh, it's really a hacker phone, developer's phone. This is the second, you know, Google phone, official Google phone, really. I mean, there's Nexus S2, which is nice too. Um, so, let's go to install zip from SD card and hit the camera button, or the middle button here. And then go to choose zip from SD card. And then go all the way down to G apps. Sorry, I can't do this here. G apps, all right. And then hit yes. And voila, you should have Google apps after you do this and you should be all good to go. Let's uh, get out, power button I think. And then the center button. And then the next video, I'll have an overview of the latest Cyanogen 7 uh, mod ROM. This is exciting because uh, I just checked my camera started working again. And I'll show you what was wrong with Ginger Villain. I don't know what happened. It's just my, my camera just flunked out on me one day. Cool, right? This, mod, this uh, Cyanogen Mod 7 is awesome because, um, you know, their ROMs is awesome. But it sucks on the Evo because you can't get 4G and some of this stuff doesn't work. But for G2 phone, this is probably the best best ROM now. Um, especially they've updated nightly, and you can you know download the new ones. There's a update feature. Oh, look at this. This is kind of cool. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here. Ah. Oh, so I've got the Google Apps now. Anyone have a, a review of this? Wrong. So see y'all later.